What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. So, in the last video, someone left a comment saying that the videos were getting a little repetitive with me starting out each video, basically eating Halo Top and dinner. So this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Haha, <laughs> was that funny? Yeah, so I'm going to try and lighten today instead of Halo Top. I'm not really a fan of mint anything, but every flavor of Enlightened, even if I'm not a fan of the flavor, they do such a good job with it that it's delicious. But that was just a joke. So, I do want to ask you guys seriously, what do you want to see in the videos? Because I feel like when I do vlogs, people say that they don't want to see vlogs, they just want to see fitness. And personally, there's not really that much going on that I even have to vlog, that's why I don't really vlog that much. So I pretty much stick with the fitness, that seems to be what, got, what you guys seem to like the most. And later on in the video, I'm going to discuss my routine as I think I'm going to be making some switches. So first, let me just try, since I have it out, let me try the mint chip and lane, let, let you know what I think. And that is very good. Like I said, I'm not a fan of mint, but Enlightened does a great job on these ice creams. Very creamy, highly recommended. So I'm going to eat this up. Let me know, like I said, what you want to see in the videos. Do you want to see maybe shorter, informative videos, like three to four minutes on a topic like supplements? Do you want to see what I'm already doing? Do you want to see more vlogging? Like, what do you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. And now I'm going to do a little talk with you guys after this that I already filmed before this. That's why the shirt will be the same as you'll see. And then we'll get to the gym later on. So hit the thumbs up and enjoy the video. What's up guys? We're going to get to the workout footage in just a bit. But first, since we are on the couch, we are going to be having a serious discussion. So what I wanted to discuss is the difference between gaining weight and gaining muscle. And you probably knew I was going to say that because you saw the thumbnail of this video before you clicked on it. But anyway, a lot of people, they want to gain weight. And when they say they want to gain weight, we all know they mean muscle. No one's trying to get as fat as possible unless you're like a sumo wrestler. So we want to gain muscle when we say we want to gain weight. And a lot of people, they set a target weight in mind. So let's say, for example, you're 150 pounds and you want to weigh 175 pounds. In my opinion, that's the worst thing you could do, set a weight goal. Because if, once you set that weight goal, you have no idea what you're going to look like at 175 pounds. The truth is, even if you were 175 pounds, you probably still wouldn't be satisfied. So to tell yourself that you want to weigh 175 is stupid because all you're going to do is try to, even if you don't realize it, you're going to be trying to rush yourself to get to 175 pounds and in the meantime, you're going to get fatter than you want. Because if you're 150 and you get to 175, you're going to add muscle at the same rate whether you're adding 5 pounds a month or 3 pounds a month or 10 pounds per month. So obviously, if you, if you want to get there faster, you're going to try to gain weight faster. But gaining weight faster doesn't mean you're gaining muscle faster. Because gaining weight, gaining muscle, they're not the same thing. So I mean, look at it this way. Even if you're trying to gain one pound per week, it doesn't sound like much, but it's four pounds per month. Over the course of a year, that's about 50 pounds. You're not going to gain 50 pounds of muscle a year. I mean, you'd be lucky if you gained 12 pounds of muscle per year. So if you're gaining 50 pounds in a year, where is that weight going to go? It's going to be fat. And that's only at one pound per week. I mean, there's some people, myself when I was younger, I actually tried to gain two pounds per week for a while. Two pounds per week. Eight pounds per month. I mean, over the course of a year, that's a lot of weight. And I got fat. So, in terms of looking at weekly, I recommend gaining like around half a pound per week and about two pounds per month. And you should not set a weight goal because there's no point in setting a weight goal. As long as you're trying to gain two pounds per month, you're going, to gain, you're going to be gaining muscle at a nice speed. There's no point in looking to the future and saying, oh, I need to weigh 200 pounds. Because once you tell yourself you need to weigh 200 pounds, you're going to weigh 200 pounds and you're going to get sloppy just because you're chasing the number on the scale. So do not chase the number on the scale. We want to gain muscle. We don't want to gain weight. Weight obviously is muscle, but we only want to gain muscle. So. That's just what I wanted to go over with you guys because I made a post on Instagram the other day and I got a lot of uh, questions about, oh, but if I gain 10 pounds, won't I be gaining faster? No, you won't. Your body's only going to gain so much muscle whether you're gaining 3 pounds per month, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds. So control it. Don't set your eyes on the scale. Weigh yourself obviously to judge progress, but do not set a long-term weight in mind because that number does not exist. 
You're never going to actually look how you think you will at that weight. You're just gonna rush your progress and get fatter than necessary. So just, want to, just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that. And now let's get to the workout footage where I'll give you an update on my training. And I think we are done with 531 after this week. Yeah. What's up everyone, welcome to the workout. So this is my latest bench press workout. And just one thing I meant to add to the little talk I just did before this is the problem also if you set a target weight in mind, if for some reason you stall for two weeks and you don't make any progress, now if you still have that same target weight in mind, you're gonna have to go even faster to reach that goal because you didn't gain any weight for a couple of weeks. So there's just another reason that it might force, force you to uh, rush progress and a reason I do not recommend ever setting a long-term weight in mind. So anyway, here on 531, this is the threes week. I'm about to do my AMRAP set, as you're about to see here. And I said before the workout started that I think this might be my last week on 531. And it, it wouldn't be this workout you're seeing. It's the one that's going to come up next week as the last week. And the reason for that is a couple things. Um, one, I've been on 531 for over two years now. Uh, I did do Oga 753 for a couple months in between, but I've been basically on 531 for a couple of years now. And my strength has gotten to the point for a little while where it's not really increasing. And I've been okay with that because I enjoy 531 and I really prioritize enjoying the gym and having fun in the gym over my actual progress. Since I'm happy with my physique and although I like to get stronger, it's not a huge priority of mine. Uh, but recently I just felt like even though I've been on, I've been on 531 for so long, that I'm no longer enjoying it as much as I was enjoying it before. And I thought that this would be a good opportunity to possibly try something new. Now, it's not going to be too drastically different. I'm still going to do four days. I'm still going to be doing uh, basically starting each workout off with one of the main lifts. But what I am planning on changing is rather than five through one, it'll, I'm going to be changing the percentages and the way that I set up the, the main lifts. And I'm also considering the way I set up my accessory exercises. Now, I'm not going to be calling it anything because I'm kind of going to be playing around with it. I'll take you guys through it as I do it. But the plan is experimenting with different percentages and different like rep schemes, different accessory rep schemes for the next couple of months. And then when it's all set, then when I've experimented for a few months, maybe I'll put it all together as like a, a, a newer kind of program which will probably be, if I'm just thinking about it right now, it'll kind of be like a combination of, of programs that are out there, part five through one, uh, and some part of other things, part of what I do differently. Just a, basically a combination of all my experience lifting, what I find to be working the best for me, what I enjoy the most, and what I think, um, what I think will be the best. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely make sure to take you guys through it. As I'm recording this right now, I don't know exactly how it's going to be. I do know, like I said, it's going to be similar to 5 through 1, but with different progression. And I'm thinking about changing the way I set up the accessory exercises as well. But overall, it's not going to be too different because I do think that the way I train is optimal. I do enjoy it for the most part, but I just feel like something needs to change just a little bit just to keep things fresh because I started 5 through 1, I believe it was May of 2015. We are now in September of 2017. It's been a while, so I think it's time for a change, not just for me, but for you guys. I feel like the videos are getting repetitive as well, so hopefully I could change it up and take you guys along with me, and we could all learn some stuff as I do that. Um, but anyway, this video is wrapping up. This is the last exercise that I filmed for the workout. If you guys like the video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscriber yet. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Leave a comment below what you'd like to see in the future, like I said in the beginning. And I will see you guys in the next video.